Hi there, today we're going to practice even and odd numbers. First we're going to begin with the word even. So even numbers are numbers that always can be distributed evenly. So the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 are all even numbers. So even means that you can share it equally. For instance, if I had two apples, one, two apples, and I wanted to share those apples with you, I could have one of the apples, this one goes to me right here, and I could give the other one to you. We each would have one. So any number, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, each one of these numbers can be split up evenly. It can be shared equally. Once again, let's take a look at the number 6. If we this time had 6 apples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could have 3 apples, and you could have 3 apples. There's nothing left over. Those are even numbers. Now on the other hand, odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, those are all odd numbers. If we try to share them, we'll always end up with an extra one left over. It's never fair. For instance, if we have one, well, if I take that one, then you don't have an apple. So that is not, an, it's an odd one, it's one left over. If we had three, well, here's one, here's two, here's three. If I take one, and you take one, there's one left over. It won't be equal, it won't be fair, there's always one left over. Odd numbers always have one left over when they're split. So that brings us back to our question of even and odd numbers and how to tell whether an, a number is even or odd. So if I have the number 37, when I'm trying to figure out if it's even or odd, all I look at is the ones place. Now we talked about that 7 is an odd number. So remember, odds are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So automatically I don't have to look at anything more than the ones place and I can tell you that that number right there, 37, is an odd number because the ones are odd. Let's try another. All right, I have a little bit larger number here. What number do I need to look at on that three digit number to tell me whether it's an even or odd number? That's right, all we have to do is look at the ones place or the number eight. Now if we recall, zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10 are all even numbers. Eight can be split up evenly, four and four. So this number right here, 128, is even. Do I need to look at the two tens or the 100? No, I don't. All I have to focus on with even and odd numbers is the ones place. All right, the question is, is 33 an even or odd number? Well, let's look at 33. Look at the ones, even or odd. Well, three, one, two, three. It's gonna be one left over, so it is most definitely odd. That's an odd number. 33, odd. Okay, is 132 an even or odd number? Well, easy one to figure out. All we do is look at the ones. Is two an even or an odd number? You can even hear it, there's two, there's two of them. You can split them up between two friends. And the answer is even. This number, 132, is even because two is even. We can split them up between two different people. There's nothing left over. Great job. Finally, we, here we have a word problem. Mike has 79 stickers. Is the amount of stickers even or odd? So does he have an even or an odd amount of stickers? If you said odd, give yourself a pat on the back. All we do is look at the ones here. Whenever dealing with even and odd numbers, you review the ones. Don't even have to worry about tens or hundreds or thousands. Now we have nine ones. And if we think about that, 
you can sh you can't split up nine ones equally. It's an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I take four and you take four, look at that. There is one left over. It's never a fair amount. It's never an equal amount. So nine is an odd number. And Mike has 79 stickers. His amount of stickers are odd. Today you've been practicing even and odd numbers. Remember to focus only on the ones to see whether that number is even or odd. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.